And then we see Jizzy's messy ass saying, when are we going to talk about the rumors, about the Eddie rumors? So, um, also, did you, Ashley said what? And I think in what? that moment, Ashley was like, for the first time in six years, bitch, it ain't my man. It's it ain't my me. man. <laughs> we, I think unless there's something that was hidden, she survived a season without a Darby scandal. Well, bl- that, that's the least they can do. She's officially a mom of two. <laughs> I mean, this might be, this is the first season. Well, they showed ever. up to that scene and like the first episode, the first day of filming and she got shat on her hand and they were like, we're going to go easy on her this year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God bless Ashley Darby. You know oh, what? I love she her. She does the Lord's work on that show. And you know what? If anyone comes for her for being messy, they can't. Because guess what? All of her mess is out there too. So and she's owned like every she's bit of it. Anything. She's owned up. She's, she's faced every single bit of it. Every bit of it. She does not run away from it, honey. Yep. Um, what do you think about the the Eddie rumors? I don't believe it. I, at I don't all. believe them at Can all. Can we either. um actually let's pull up Mr. Eddie's Mother's Day um, yes post yes and read what he said because it was pretty iconic. I agree. Um. Happy Mother's Day to my beautiful wife, Wendy Osifo. It wouldn't be your day without them. The mother of my only, in all caps, three babies. Boop. And names all of his children. Boop. Amazing. I love that. I love that. He said, let me get a little clap back in here on Mother's Day. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie's been so quiet last season, but I think he's ready to come out. He's, he's like, ready. you know what? The moms are at home resting on their phones today. Let me give them a little read for today. How about that? Yes. Absolutely. Um, and then we see Wendy tell Gis- Giselle, and for me, this is probably my favorite part of the trailer. What you're not going to do is you're not going to play with my husband's name. And she says, I see you for everything everybody ever said that you were. And I can only That's hope. Poetry. Oh, that is. And like, I feel. You know who she's talking about? I feel like she's talking about like people like you and I, like these fan accounts that are out here. Like Giselle is a mess. Beware, beware. And now she's like, you know what? I see it. And that's why she's like, fuck these cameras because I see you. We see each other. And did you notice? I, I think there was a break in between, but she said fuck these cameras or whatever. And then the continuation I think is, I will light your ass up. I will. Li- yes. I end. will. I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh my God. I will light your ass up. Go get her. Wendy girl. I am going to, I actually that think on. that Wendy could be the first one that Giselle is like, she can't handle it. Like Giselle, I, as much as Giselle annoys me, like she can handle her own. And you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Wendy might give her yeah. a damn run for her money. And rightfully, oh, yeah. you know, and thank God for it. That's all I have to say. And again, Giselle can't read in person. She can only talk smack in her confession. 100%. So Wendy can read. Candace can read. Karen can read. They will all read her down. And I'm sure Mia can come on. New- this newbie is going to come on and read. Yeah. Well, and again, speaking of Mia, we see her throw lettuce at Candace with Candace responding and throwing lettuce at her as well. Um I just want to say, you know, we've gone from we've gone from knives to hands to lettuce, so we're getting gradually better. You can't. It's that's what I call growth. You know, that is growth. <laughs> there we go. Come on, Candace. You know. <laughs> I also was laughing because the level of effort that Mia had throwing it, she was just like boom, boom. Yeah. Candace is like reaching oh. and then like throws it like Candace so pathetically. Candace was like, if I could break someone's <laughs> neck with lettuce, it was it's going to be right now. <laughs> It was so funny. Like, and I just, I didn't realize how tall Mia is. Like in that scene, you really notice it. Like, or, I mean, I know Candace is short, but Mia's like, it's like this. See, all I was (laughs) noticing in that scene was how much I liked Wendy's outfit. She had on that like neon, I think it was like a Balenciaga like uh, cardigan. And it was just like, and then she was in right in the middle. Like poor thing was right in the middle last year. (laughs) I was just going to say. It reminded me so much of la- that that same Wendy shriek. Stop! Yeah. Stop! And then you see, do you see that somebody put a side by side of Ashley's face where she walked out last year, and then the face this year where they throw the lettuce? Steve, it's the exact same. It's the same. It's the exact same where she's like, <laughs> <laughs> yes. I love it. It's so funny. Someone, um, one thing that I don't think we mentioned yet, but in the middle of the trailer when talking about Mia, she brought up how she was adopted um someone said in clubhouse the other day it it almost the giselle conversation reminded them of oh you don't have a home it was like 
oh, they dropped you off kind of thing. I got that vibe like, too. It's, did you get it, that vibe It too? felt dismissive and an attempt at like low hanging shade to me. Like very, mm-hmm. yeah. I kind of felt, I felt that. the same way. Okay, obviously we'll have to see the context, but yes, I know exactly what you're talking about, and I caught that because I was like, "Oh, that was a little sharp." But that then was, they kind of yeah. move on quickly, so you don't. I don't know if you people really caught it, uh, right? But yeah, that was hateful. That's hateful. What else? Um, what else is new? All right. Well, that was pretty much the trailer. So before we go, out of ten champagne flutes, because that is what our Potomac queens hold. Out of ten champagne flutes, how would you rate this trailer? How many champagne flutes would you give it? I'll give it a seven. Okay. I was gonna give it. I was gonna give it eight champagne flutes. So I think we're right. Yeah. We're, I was like. Se- I was between seven and eight. We're neck and neck. All right. And I, you know what would have made it an eight for me? What? If they would have shown us a little bit of Oscale or Oscale, the new friend. Yeah. What in the world? I, the only reason I even know about her is because of like fan accounts and stuff that are sharing. You know. Well, about and her. they put it in the article at the very end. It was like, and Robin's friend Oscale Davis is joining as a friend of the group. Oh, I'm. I'm, I'm um, glad. I'm glad that she's coming on as Robin's friend. That's interesting. Yeah, I like that too because maybe that means Robin's maybe here for the long. I was gonna say Robin might yes. have more weight in this cast than we think she does. More hold, yeah. Yeah, um, but I've heard like fire things about her. She's apparently she's messy. She's really apparently really really good. See, and this is good because it allows us to build a relationship with her, and hopefully, then she because. The, you know, they, they have to be in this for the long haul. Like, they can't, producers can't just be looking at bringing in people this season. They already have to be thinking about, well, who's not going to be here next season? Who's people we can build up to and then make them full time next season? Something like that, you know? So, um, and I, we'll see. I think it was necessary for them, like, with Monique's departure to have, I mean, that is a big void, in my opinion. And bringing on Mia, again, she's not a replacement, but just the newbie, but I think they needed a second new person. 100%. And obviously. Not a, another full timer, but at least another. Yeah, um, and quickly before we wrap else. up, it's like look at New York. It's like how they lost Dorinda and Tinsley. They ver- they could have literally added like four people to replace those two. They added Seriously. one to replace two, and so and but Potomac got it right. They lost I mean, one and added yeah. two. That's the formula we need. Let in Beverly Hills, you know, they lost Denise and Teddy. They added two, you know. So mm-hmm. um, and at least Atlanta, <clears throat> even though they lost people, at least they had like. A billion friends. They around. had a billion you know what friends. I mean? There was a lot of energy involved. <laughs> yes. Yes. Where New York does not have that. Um, okay. So before we go, I would love for you to pick one Potomac housewife and drop what you think could be a tagline for them for season six. Do you have one? Giselle. Okay. Um, oh, shoot. I had it. Let me, let me think real quick. Oh. Giselle's will be... Is Jamal coming in everybody except me? Ah! I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I can't. <clears throat> All right. Uh, mine would be, let's see, let's see. Mine's for Wendy, Dr. Wendy. Okay. okay. Potomac is my classroom, and this professor will always catch the class clown. You, Giselle, that's who she's going to fucking catch. Period. Yes. Yes. I love that.